Hello there fellow Paleans, Queen Bee here with a quick tips tricks tutorial on cooking and food in Paleo. If you enjoy this and find it helpful, do consider giving it a like for the good old YouTube algorithm. Comment with your tips and thoughts and if you want to see more Paleo, consider subscribing to the channel. First let's talk about the basics of food. In, in Paleo you do not have your standard health and hunger and water bars, but you do get focus points. These are points that increase the rate at which you gain XP. You can fill your focus bar by eating food and as you progress through the game, the food that you can cook provides you with more bang for your buck, so to speak. For example, I think grilled mushrooms give you something like 50 points and vegetable stew gives you 100 or 150 points. When cooking, there's also a chance to craft star quality meals, which give you more than the standard amount of points. You can also sell food for coin, either to vendors or via your soul chest at your home. There's no difference in price whether you sell to vendors or via your chest. Selling via the chest is a little bit more convenient as you can put it straight from your storage inventory into your soul chest. But if you've got items when you're running around, you can run to the general store, uh, Ziki shop and sell your items there. So um, how to start cooking in Paleo? Now, in order to begin your journey cooking, you'll need to progress in enough through the quests to a point where you're sent to see Halidor for a pickaxe. He's gonna clear out a plot of land and you can continue to clear this and place your tent. Then you get a task to leave your housing plot and immediately after you exit, you're gonna receive a couple of new tasks. One of these is to talk to Reth and learn how to cook. Reth works at the Ormuz Horn, the inn in Kilima, and can most often be found here, although in not Although if not, just check the map to find him. Just look for a yellow flag icon. As Reth teaches you how to cook, he will provide you with a series of tasks to work through as follows. The first task is to craft a campfire. Once you've done that, you're gonna to have to gather three mushrooms. Then you cook grilled mushrooms eat the grilled mushrooms and you have to use your 50 focus points up by doing whatever activity you want to. Then you need to return to Reth for stage two. Reth will give you three more recipes for the campfire, grilled fish, grilled meat, grilled oysters. So the meat can be obtained by hunting the deer and the kind of chipmunk things that are out and about with your bow and arrow fish, obviously from fishing in the various water sources, be sure to fish with friends for a fishing bonus. And oysters are found in Bari Bay, which is a second area of the map that you can enter over here. And you can beach comb and collect them from the sands and the shallows. After I got the recipes for the grilled fish, meat and oysters, I then kind of entered the following cycle, hunt, fish, gather, cook, grill, sell. I would sell all my starred meat, eat enough grilled dishes to top my focus up, keep a couple spare and sell the rest. You will want to cook as much as you can to skill up to level two. And once you've done this, you can get a stove and a prep station from Reth for free. From there, it's a mixing station at level three and an oven at level four. One of the tips that I would always say, guys, is when you're, um, when you're grilling food or cooking food, the food itself is not going to sell for more profit than the items that it's made of. But I would always cook your food before selling it simply because it gives you cooking points, it gives you cooking XP. So it's a nice way of scaling up and then you sell the items and you get some coin. To cook on the cooking stations, you will want recipes. Uh, the first one you can purchase from Reth is a hearty vegetable soup. It takes one mushroom, uh, one spice and one vegetable. Over time, you're going to be able to purchase and find more recipes to cook, such as ramen, steak dinner, and so on. There are also various recipes that you can find out and about through searching. Guys, if you don't want the spoilers, mute now. I'll, uh, I'll put a sign up on screen for when you can unmute. From what I'm aware of, um, there is um, a recipe for, I think, the stuffed mushrooms, and you can get those from the farm building. Uh, that's the farmstead, the farm, the homestead of the farm. You can get the carrot soup, I think comes from the library. Once you've got a library card, you can also get potato soup from Hallidorf's house over in Bari Bay. And then um, down by the fishing docks, 
there are a couple of scraps of paper I believe that you can get for onion soup I think it's onion soup ingredients generally need to be sourced in various ways you can forage for spices morale mushrooms sweet grass and so on in the world you can grow a range of vegetables at home hunt and fish and you can purchase additional resources such as eggs oil and butter uh, from the villagers to cook the dishes themselves you're going to need to multitask you can cook as a group or individually if working alone you'll start the dish on the cooker and then you'll be told to perform various tasks to bring the dish together for example for the hearty vegetable soup, you start the dish on the cooker. You'll then need to move to the prep station. You chop the mushrooms, then back to the cooker to add the ingredients and mix the soup. A steak dinner is a little bit more involved. You're gonna need to chop the garlic, mix the herb bu butter, make the dough, bake the dough into bread, flip the dish twice, um, and add the ingredients into the cooker and mix. However, the acts of preparing all of these ingredients are pretty straightforward. Chopping. When you need to do a chopping action on your prep station, you just tap your left mouse um, when the blue bar hits the marker. In general, this is about seven or eight times, depending on the item. Uh, for rolling out noodles or bread or such, you tap your left mouse when the bar or the rolling pin hits the top and the bottom markers. To mix, you just hold down the left button until the circle is full. And to bake in the oven, you just click to add the item. Flipping meals, you just hold down the left button and you release it when the marker hits the circle. The great thing about Paleo is it's an MMO and so you can cook with friends sharing the tasks. If you do this, Everybody cooking profits from both the XP and will get a meal each from completing one meal, which is a pretty nice outcome from collaborating. All you have to remember here is that each person taking part must perform a task in order to get the XP and the meal at the end. Well, that's it from me, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to like, comment, and sub for the good old YouTube algorithm. I'm Loving Palea, and I am going to be bringing more content, more tutorials, more streams, and I really hope that you come along for the ride. If you haven't started playing this, then I really hope you have a blast when it comes out on the 10th of August. And uh, stay tuned for more, guys.